Following an interview with Morning Live, Makaya Antini has met with the Eastern Cape Sports MEC to discuss sports development as well as transformation within the province. This will also, well, they'll also discuss the reopening of the Makaya Antini Academy near Mdingi Village where rural cricket players will be developed. Abungile Yankees is our reporter covering this story for us. Abungile, very good morning to you. So we know that Transformation is near and dear to Makaya's heart. How does he you know, plan to affect change in this regard? A very good morning to you too, Blaine. Um, indeed, we are coming to you live from East London, where uh, Makaya and Tini and the Department of Sports and Recreation here in the province will be holding a media briefing. Issues of transformation and racism are said to be discussed and um, the one thing that I can tell you is that they'll be talking about the launch of his cricket academy here which will be based here in East London and surrounding areas. Well in 2014 he did launch it but seems as though things didn't go as planned and due to sponsors, to sponsors um, cutting out of, his, of that deal. But now we're, ho- we're hoping to hear that um, Though he he will be now backed by the Department of Sports and Arts and Culture. That's the word going around here, that he will be backed. But the nitty gritties of it, the finer details will be announced here here right now. The MEC has just made her way in, Ms. Fezek Ngomonye, just made her way here. But to tell us more, I'm now joined by her spokesperson, Ms. Busisiwa Jemsana Mantasha. We say a very good day to you and thank you for joining us. Um, can you tell us what can we expect from this briefing? Can you elaborate more? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bo. Uh... Uh, indeed, uh, the meeting, uh, the MEC called a meeting uh, with uh, the South African cricketing legend, Makayandin, following those revelations that we saw and heard when he was speaking out about the racist uh, incidents that he experienced whilst working for, uh, whilst with the Proteus team. Uh, mainly the meeting was about a way forward. Uh, the MEC really trying to find a way of how he and uh, Ms. Dentini can work together moving forward in terms of sports transformation because she strongly believes that uh, the problems of uh, inequalities in sport don't start at provincial level. They don't start when one joins the Protea team, but they start at a ground level, at school sport. And so the meeting was trying to find ways because when we have people who are raising hands to say, I'm speaking out, when we have a legend like Makayantini who is saying I went through this then that person becomes key in trying to get to the root problems and how then best do you solve those problems, do you solve those inequalities and ultimately give a chance uh, to the black child who in many times don't have access to these uh, top sporting codes, don't have access to Proteas, to rugby uh, how then do you work with those who've been through this, who know exactly how it starts, who know exactly how it can then be addressed. So the meeting was mainly about that. Um, surely he, he, had, he has a cricket academy that um, didn't do so well last time. It was launched in 2014 but we didn't hear much of it after that. Um, in this briefing, can we expect anything to be touched on about this academy, Busi? Uh, indeed, it's been 12 years since uh, the whole province, the co- whole country, uh, heard about that uh, Makayantini Cricket Academy that was launched. Leases were signed, uh, plans were in place to make sure that there's this uh, hub of an academy that will take the black child, that will be at the center of our township of Danzania here in the Eastern Cape, but not only focusing on Danzania, but the province at large. Uh, but since then, nothing has happened. They did indeed uh, talk about that talk to that as to how then do we move forward what's what's lacking since uh, sponsors pulled out what do we do because it did not only give hope uh, to the people of Mdansane that academy but it gave hope to black children those who are excelling in cricket, excelling in the sports, to say there's this chance that they will get first-hand experience of someone who has been with uh, the Proteas, who knows exactly what's expected, who can be the coach, uh, who will know exactly what takes place during uh, these uh, seasons and how then these crippling racist 
elements uh, start crippling in and start to divide the society at large. And so the department and the MEC who is in charge of making sure that there is through sport, there is social cohesion. Uh, we're meeting to actually find a way forward as to what do we do moving forward. Yes, these are the things that Makayantini went through during his time, but how do we prevent it from not overlapping and making sure that we put an end and a stop to such experiences uh, of the upcoming uh, cricketers who'd want to be the Makayantinis of tomorrow? Because you can imagine if something can, like this can happen to our very own Makayantini, then what, what's left of those who are still uh, on the upbringing, those who are still knocking on those doors, trying to gain entrance, those who are saying that we do not have enough facilities at our schools, we do not have fields, we do not have coaches, we do not have the equipment to actually have hope of ever getting into this sport. So the meeting was about that and today the MEC Fezegang Komonye and uh, SA cricketer, uh, former cricketer Makayantini will talk to the resolutions and what they've decided in that meeting. Well, Wesley, I thank you so much for your time. I wish we could have talked more, but due to time constraints. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there you have it, Blaine. Um, the, meet, the briefing is about to start now. We need to get inside. The MEC is waiting for us to uh, outline the plans that they have with this Cricket Academy. And as I mentioned, issues of racism and Busi has also mentioned, they'll also be discussed here. But from us here, it's back to you in studio.